Hey, today I'm going to show you a typewriter effect in DaVinci Resolve, and it's going to be a whole lot better than what you're kind of seeing out there, which is the write-on effect. Um, this one I'm going to use Fusion, and it's going to look like an actual typewriter, and it's going to be um, kind of animated per character. And so stay with me, and I'm going to show you how to put this one together. Okay, so we're going to start here with a blank project. Make sure your effects library is selected here at the top. Go down to your effects under toolbox, and we want to drag a fusion composition onto the timeline. Go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and stretch that out. Uh, we're going to go roughly about 10, 12 seconds. Go ahead and select your composition. Go into the fusion tab now. I'm going to go ahead and close this keyframe down for now, give myself a little bit more space. And make sure this inspector is open up here in the upper right because we're going to use that quite a bit here. And so we have the media out and we need to do some things. First of all, we want to put a text in here. That's our bread and butter. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a background on here as well. I'm going to go ahead and put a merge in here. And we want to make this background node into this background connector in the merge, which is the yellow triangle. And the text, you want to bring this one into the green triangle. And so that is going to be the foreground. We'll go ahead and drag and drop that one in the upper right. And it's still going to be black because we haven't typed any text yet. Okay, let's go ahead and drag the text up into the left window. And let's go ahead and start typing into our stylized text box. And we'll just call this one... And so what I want this to do, I want to make it look like kind of like an old CRT screen uh, where it's going to be that, that green text. It's going to have the kind of the scan lines in it. So we'll build that from the start here. And so I want to go ahead and make this that green color. I'm going to leave this open sans. That's, that's fine for the font. And we'll start with something about like this. Go down just a little bit darker. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and make my kind of my blocking around the actual text. So let's go here to the paintbrush tab. But I want to go ahead and select a new element, element three. Go ahead and enable that one. And select this, this box up here. It's a border fill. And so we want to change this to match the color of our, our text. And the easiest way to do that we go back to this number one here you can select this color here and add it to the custom colors hit OK so go back to three there so now when we select this color here we can just select it down here in the custom colors okay so what I want to do in the blending is make this solid and I want to change this one to the character Next, I want to go down here to softness. Go ahead and turn those down. I want to make this pretty sharp, actually. And then I want to extend it just a bit. So let's go up to about 0.5 there. So next, you're kind of looking at me like, well, what's going on here? There's no text there. Of course not. So we have to do some work here. Go back to the text tab up here at the top and right click in the stylized text section and we're going to get some options here so we want to add a follower modifier go ahead and select that one and so you can see it didn't really do anything but now we have some options available up here in the modifiers at the top and so we want to do some things here so I want to make this affect all characters I want to go from the left to the right and I also want to go between the first and the last character. And I want to ramp this up to about 50 here. So the text section, we just want to make sure this is still in place here. Don't you resolve typing effect and characters. Uh, that looks good. So let's go to the paintbrush effect here. And we're going to do some animation. And it's going to, this follower effect is going to to add some things um, as we go through the timeline here. So go ahead and check off this enabled section. And we want to do some things here. 
So I want to go in and affect the the actual opacity. So let's do some animation to start. Let's go to frame one. And then I want to take this, go ahead and select animate here. Turn this down to zero at frame one. And then I want to go to frame two here. And we're going to bring this back up to one. Thickness looks fine. I'm good with that. And then let's go ahead and go to select element three. And that one's already turned off. Make sure this, this border is selected as well here. And we want to do some animation on the opacity here as well. Okay, so let's go back to keyframe. I'm going to go back down to uh, kind of 0.9 for my keyframe. I'm sorry, negative 0.9. And we're going to make this one zero for the opacity. And we're going to give that a keyframe. Okay, so let's change this keyframe then to 0 0.08. Let's go all the way up to 1 at this keyframe. So let's go to the next position on the timeline, 1.08. I'm going to go just one second forward. And I want to go back to 0 here. And then let's go to 2.08. And I want to go back up to... Actually, we need to leave that at 0 here as well. Okay, so now you can see something kind of happening there, and we, we have our typing effect in place there. So that's looking really good already. And so I don't love that position of that, that text itself, so let's go back here to Tools, and we want to go back to the position here. I'm going to just bring this position over a bit. And we'll go ahead and bring it up a bit, kind of up to that upper corner there. And s let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Okay, so I like how this this kind of this block is is typing, uh, kind of going along with our text. And then when we're done though, it's kind of missing something there. So. I'm going to just kind of use a, a dummy here. And so what I want to use is another piece of text here. Go ahead and drag another text node down here. And I'm going to hit F2. And we'll just call this one the cursor. And so that's kind of that little block that's going to be moving along there. We already have it animated throughout the, the typing. And I'm just going to put kind of a dummy in there. And so right now it's down here. So when we're done typing, I just want it to kind of sit out here and blink on and off. So we're going to have to do some an expression to do that. And so let's go ahead and first create the cursor. And so we can go in here and put any letter we want in here just to get started. And I want to select this color again. So I have this custom color already in place there. and put it over here so we can see this O. Go here to the paintbrush tab and we're going to go to 3. Go ahead and enable that one. Select this fill, this border fill, and go to the color again and select the green. So now we kind of have that, that box and I want to extend that a bit. And so let's just turn these on. I want to go ahead and merge these again. So I have this merge. Let's put another merge in here. And so this is going to be the background here. And the cursor is going to be on top. And let's see what that looks like. Go ahead and go to the end of this. And so I want to move this over a bit. To the size of the block that's used in our animation there. I'm pretty good with that. And so we have this, this element enabled. Let's go back to element one, which is that letter we typed in. So let's just turn that off. Go ahead and uncheck the enabled. 
you can see we won't see the letter there. But what we are going to do, uh, go back to element three. And under this opacity, we want to do something a little bit different. Right click on the opacity. And we're going to say we want to modify this with uh, an expression. Go ahead and select that. You can see it didn't really do anything, but up here, modifiers, we have a new tab here. And I'm going to turn off some of these numbers because I really only need one. Actually, I don't need any of the point controls. I'm going to go ahead and turn all those off. And the number controls, I just need one. So I'm going to turn everything else off. I'm going to call this one the speed. Let's go ahead and retype this. Okay, so now when we go back to our kind of our numbers here, we just have speed. I turned everything else off. Let's go into the number out. This is the expression that I want to use. We're going to type in the following expression. I'm going to use a sine wave multiplied by the time. And then I'm also going to multiply it by uh, the speed that I put in, which is N1. And parentheses around both those numbers. And you can hit Enter if you want. And so what I want to get out of this is, let's go back to this one. I have zero here for speed. Let's go ahead and put in six there. And so you can see it starting to blink there. And so it's a little bit slow. So I want to speed this up. Let's go up to 30 here. That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so this output now, I want to do a little bit of refinement. And I'm going to add in an effects into this. And so under this open effects, uh, we want to go down to stylize down here. And we want to put in a scan line into this. So go ahead and pull this down here. Connect the merge in. And I'll go ahead and connect it to the media out because we're going to need to do that next. So in this scan line here, I want to make this quite a bit sharper here. And I want a little bit more frequency just to give it those kind of those lines there. And I forgot to do one thing. So let's go back to the cursor. And so this thing, I think it's done about 62 or so. So let's drag this up to, let's go to about 80. And so there'll be a little bit of a delay there. And then it's going to start blinking. So hopefully that'll give you another tool to put together some typing effects in DaVinci Resolve uh, for your projects. If you have any questions on how to put that composition together, please post them in the comments and I will help you get those answered. Otherwise, thank you so much again for watching and take care, guys.